Just a quick disclaimer, there is, right on cue, some scribbling noise in the background, a little bit of toddler babbling in the background because my toddler is here in the room with me. The obvious answer is to film when she is asleep or playing independently. She does very little of either of those things. So I am filming with her in the room. If that is going to bother you, oh, come on. If that is going to bother you, I totally understand. Just don't watch the video. That is the easy answer for you. Just don't watch the video because you're gonna hear her. If you stick around, thank you so much. If you don't, I, that's fine and I totally understand. Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Erin and as you can tell by the title, today's video is a fabric haul. I took advantage <clears throat> I took advantage of some of the Boxing Day and New Year's sales available at the end of 2023 and ordered from Fashion Fabrics Club, Fabric Wholesale Direct, did a pickup order from Joann's and shopped in store for some things. Let me show you what I got. The first three fabrics I'm going to show you are for this McCall's pattern. I grabbed the rack packet on accident, so I'll be sure to put the actual pattern number down here at the bottom, but it's these color blocked flare leg jeans that I wanted to make since I bought them. It hasn't been that long, but I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do with them, but I figured it out, I think. The first two fabrics I ordered were from Fashion Fabrics Club. They are cotton, uh, solid stretch cotton twill woven fabric. I got a yard and a half of each. This color is soft orange and this color is fruit punch pink, which I love. Kind of matches, kind of matches my hair. So I got a yard and a half of each of these. Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure how exactly I'm going to end up doing this color blocking we'll see because the denim I got as the third part of the color blocking is a border embroidered fabric, which I'm going to show you in a second. The yardage price for each of those was, well, $7.92 full price, but the whole website was 25% off. I paid $8.91 for a yard and a half of each of those. So I thought that was a good deal. What was not as great of a deal, oh, the, the light scratching noise in the background is Brady coloring. Hopefully it's not that loud, I'll, I guess I'll find out. This is the denim I got. It is dark wash border floral embroidery. It was $18.74 a yard, which makes sense for all the embroidery and stuff. I got two yards of it. I have been looking at this for so long. It is only embroidered on one side. So I might have to get kind of creative with how I cut it, but we'll see. The other thing I picked up with that pickup order was this three yards of this blue painted stripe cotton fashion apparel fabric. It feels like a cotton lawn. It's very soft. It says blue. That's green to me. Anyway, that and this is what it looked like on the website. It looked green to me there too. And I... I think this is going to be a beautiful shirt dress most likely and i just it was 509 a yard so i picked up three yards just to make sure i have enough for a shirt dress with maybe a pretty full skirt we'll see now when i went to go pick up that order i did go in store instead of having them bring it out to me like a more responsible person but i had a mission when i went in store. my sewing goals for this year is to sew more for charity by doing more Project dress -a girl dresses throughout the year and then also sewing for a charity called Ryan's Case for Smiles. I talked about it in my sewing goals video. Basically they sew pillowcases for children that are in the hospital. I went in looking for a cotton fabric for that because similar to Project dress -a girl it does need to be 100% cotton and in my area specifically I found out that they prefer you not use flannel that you just use like quilting cotton. So I picked up a couple things for that because it was all on some type of sale, either clearance or 
a regular set, whatever. It was all about $2.97, $2.99 a yard. So I got some fun prints. I fell in love with this fabric. So I just got the rest of what was on the bolt, which turned out to be two and a quarter yards. I figured two and a quarter would be enough for the pillowcase and then also maybe enough for a product dress, a girl dress, because that one's just so fun. I think it would be amazing. You need three quarters of a yard for the body of the pillowcase and then a third of a yard for the end, I think. I do need to pick up more cotton in plain colors, I think, for the ends, or I could combine some. Anyway, Brady was hitting her limit in the store, so I just grabbed a couple things. I got this super cool one. It reminds me very much of like skater kids from when I was in middle school, but I think this would be good for like a teenage boy. They did say on the website that they're always looking for more teenage geared pillowcases. So I was hoping this would be good for a teenage. This fun rainbow one. I just got a yard of the rest of these. Oh my gosh, I just flipped it twice. and then this fun rainbow striped one yeah i picked those up for the pillowcases and then of course i found something i wanted for brady because i want everything for her this is um a pop knit it's an interlock this is fun checked those were all like 297 299 a yard depending what exact sale they were on this was the expensive one at like $5.97 a yard or something like that. I think I paid $10 for two yards. So whatever that works out to. But yeah, I want to make her the Dakota Dolman. I don't know if I want to do a dress or a shirt. And then I should have plenty to also maybe get her some pajamas or just some play leggings, stuff like that out of it. That is everything I physically have. I did also place an order with Fabric Wholesale Direct, like I mentioned, but it hasn't even shipped yet. I got an email today saying that they're still working on it. Not like it's been a super long time, but they are still working on it. That is, I'll put up a picture of what it looks like. It is many yards, I don't remember how many I ended up getting, I think like 10 yards of a 100% cotton flannel plaid for our anniversary. So our anniversary is this month in January and it's our second anniversary, which is cotton. We Googled and found out. So Adam bought me the fabric as his gift to me. And then I'm making us matching pajamas as my gift to him. Really, I was just going to make him pajamas. I was like, well, do you want us to match? I was like, well, sure, whatever. And then I bought enough that around Christmas time, we will already have our pajamas. And then I just have to make some for Brady. So I got enough to do that towards the end of the year when I know what size she is at the time. Man, that is it for what I ordered lately. Did you guys take advantage of any of the sales? Did you get anything specifically? Are you trying to shop from your stash more this year? So you shied away from the sales because some of those sales were very tempting and I did a lot of window shopping. I will say that almost the volume of stuff on sale made it easier to say no because I was like, there, I want so much of it that it's not feasible and I can't narrow it down. Clearly I narrowed it down enough, but it made it easy to not buy too, too terribly much. That does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I hope you consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.